Hello everyone, this is Sherry, and you're watching Lessons Learned. Welcome back everyone. We're back to blocks uh, three and four of Darlene's scrappy quilt quilt along. I was so excited to see the video come out and we're doing two blocks. So I'm going to uh, have screenshots of the measurements of each block and a little whimsy that she put in this time is a little dog so if you have something like that in your stash and i would venture it doesn't have to be a dog it could be a cat or a chicken or anything else you might have that you might want to put in that uh, design so let me show you what i found i found cats have no recollection where this fabric came from but it looks like I must have just asked for a quarter yard, but it kind of cut off some of the tails of the cats. So this is perfect for these two blocks. So I'm going to use two different things out of this piece for that particular block. So I'm going to get to cutting and I'll see you back here in a second. think this was A and then B and C D let's see H maybe I know this one was oh this one was supposed to be my square with the dog pretty sure let me do that again. But mine are cats. That's supposed to be six and a half inch square. Not right. <laughs> Let's try that again. Six and a half inch square. Okay, so here is my six and a half, and then E and F. is going to go like this, J, I, and then I think it's like that. 
That looks right. That's the order I had them in as I cut them A through K. So I think that's how it goes, I think. Maybe it goes like this. And this one goes here. I don't know, let me think. Okay, after much deliberation, here it is. So, first thing I'm gonna do is put these together. Okay, so now I have a little ironing mat over here to my right with my ironing board piping hot. So I will have everything pressed down nicely. I even went through my fabrics that I'm using and pressed all those. So I know pressing is very important. It's just that I was a little bit lazy on the first couple of blocks trying to learn, learn what's going on here with these blocks. So I'm gonna put those together and then this on that. Be right back. Okay, that's the first strip across. Now we're gonna do this one together. And then, let's see, let's do this one to the middle. Okay, so now this one to this one. Ta-da, there's the middle section. And then these three go together logically, like this. So I'll just do those. Ta-da. All right, now we just join our three pieces over and up. I'm just gonna take them both over there. Ta-da, there it is. Turned out cute, I think. It's not quite centered my cats, but who cares? I did try to center, not center, nest some of my seams. Small amount of effort in nesting some of my seams. I'm not sure why that one's so much bigger. Maybe I was off a quarter inch. Who knows? But all in all, let me measure it if I could find my ruler. It is still 12 and a quarter or more. And this way, 12 and a quarter. So I'm um, three for three on getting my blocks about the right dimension. Okay, so let's go on to block four. So this time I really, really do have them in order. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F, 
G H. Look, it's going sideways. And I don't know if I like that going sideways or not. I don't know if I like that. Could always turn it. The whole block. It is 12 by 12. But that goes against what she's doing. As far as overall pattern, I'm afraid. So, I think I'm going to redo this. You know what? I'm going to do the one with the cut tails. Six and, Six and a half. half. By, five. by five. That's what it calls for. So let's do that. Okay. Have y'all ever bought fabric from Darlene? She has a uh, Patreon membership or a YouTube membership. $4.99 for YouTube, $5 for Patreon. And you can buy fabric from her. She has fabulous sales and she has unusual fabrics you don't usually see. Just everywhere. And I've bought from her before. I used to be a Patreon, but I got to where I had so much fabric that I bailed out of that. But I did buy a lot of stuff from her. And probably some of this stuff that I'm using is from her uh, sales. So, yeah. You can do that. Especially if you don't live near a... A fabric store or your Walmart doesn't carry fabric anymore or, or whatever we're kind of blessed around here with stores we have Joann's uh, I think our Walmart still carries it we have Hobby Lobby um, Ben Franklin's so within 10 miles of my house I have a lot of selection but she has stuff that those stores don't have so something to check out if it's something you're not already doing so let's see I think what I need to do is put these three together so that I can sew it up to this one okay I'm gonna do this part guys I'm ironing as I go so gonna come out nice and flat here when I get done so now I guess it's time to join this to this I could either do that or this to this I think she probably did this one first but it doesn't matter So let's do this one to this one next. This makes me happy, but you know, it's a little matchy matchy and I'm trying to get away from that. So let's put this on there and blow my mind. this one Darlene says that I like this one but I do I like this one and it was random I didn't put these together on purpose I'm just picking based on what I have so this one turned out really nice and square let me measure it see how I did twelve and a quarter it's just slightly over a quarter Twelve and a quarter. Yay! So let's look at both of them. Aren't these cute? I can't stand it. Look. Look at these. You see that? 
Oh, I like it. Look, this even pulls from the pink in the ears now. I'm not supposed to do that, am I? Never mind, never mind. Okay, so get yours done. I wish I could see yours. Um, I'm thinking about doing an Instagram where we can hashtag each other's photos so we can see what everybody's doing. So, well, here we are. Let me get my other two blocks out. Me other two blocks. <laughs> All of a sudden, I got British or uh, Australian. So let's see, that was our number two block. And this was our number one block, right? Is that how it was? I hope you can see it. If not, I'll try to, I'll make a photo and uh, put it up on the screen for you. So there we go, moving right along. I did hear her say that she's probably going to do at least nine blocks, probably 12, if she doesn't lose steam. So, um, hope you do some of them fun like this. Uh, leave me a uh, comment down below so that... At least maybe you can tell me what you put in your I'll call it a surprise block in this one these two three and four and I will see you for block number five bye y'all